Hey guys, Natalia just got revamped and now she's extremely good. She has become one of my new favorite heroes for this season and I will share with you guys everything that I've learned so far while playing Natalia. This is the build and the emblem setup. For the spell I recommend Inspire, or you can use Execute as well. But personally I prefer Inspire because you can push turret a lot faster with this spell. Right from the start I would recommend to play very aggressive. This will make the game quite messy for the opposite team. Remember to always use Inspire before attacking. Using Spell won't break the invisibility. You will know you have become invisible when the speed up notifications pops up. You can use the first skill twice if you hit a target the first time you dash. If you miss an enemy target, then you can only use it once, so make sure to not miss it. When playing Natalia, it's really and almost important to always keep attention to the map, check who is low HP, if your team is losing or winning the team fight, if you can split push instead, there are so many decisions you have to make in a split second. This is where it separates a good Natalia from a great Natalia. Here I took a quick look and I saw two enemies in low HP, and one of them is the middle player from the opposite team, and since our middle lane minion is pushing, it's almost guaranteed that they will go to middle lane to clear the minion wave. This is why I was waiting this push instead of going top. Once again, I took another quick look and I saw there is so many weak target. It's time for hunting. With the second skill, I'm immune to basic attack, so I thought it would give me enough time to finish her off before she can kill me. It was a very close call. I could have simply dashed forward, but to be fair, I didn't know if Lilia was coming top lane to back them up. Anyway, in the end it was worth it because we killed the marksman and also I have the assassin emblem, which gives me an extra 80 gold per kills. I took the red buff instead, because Marksman won't be doing a lot for the time being and will probably just be farming bottom lane, while I will be using it to gank the enemies. Here we could have easily killed Freya, but once I saw my teammate didn't pay attention to the minimap, I decided just to poke her so when she tries to help her teammate, she will be in a weakened state. After a revamp, now Natalia's ultimate provides her instant invisibility, and you can use it twice after roughly a 2 seconds delay. In this particular game, I didn't buy the jungle item because I didn't have any time to farm the jungle. I was roaming and ganking throughout the whole game. But in a more standard situation, I will have bought the jungle item. Remember your priority is to focus on the damage dealer first, which you will see me doing throughout the whole game. Here instead of chasing the tank, I immediately switch to the squishy target.
After making the game very messy, if there's not much going on, start farming. It's really important to get those core items so you can one shot the enemy's damage dealer. Here I make a very silly mistake, I could have simply pulled back a little bit, wait for the tank to soak up the turret damage and then I can go in. I'm pointing out this mistake, so together we can learn from them. Mistakes and experiences are the best teacher. So don't be too harsh on yourself in your failures and mistakes, they are all part of the process. Here I double silence her before she can use her ultimate to rewind time. This is a very simple combo if you don't want the enemy to cast any skills when you think you can kill them in couple hits. In case you didn't know, her silence lasts 0.6 seconds, so attack twice and then use your ultimate to silence the target again. I saw the enemies were all top, so I decided to split push. Here I was kind of testing how close the enemies have to be in order to break the invisibility. I guess I got my answer now. And well, I got something extra. Carry Wasted Flicker, which has 2 minutes cooldown. Remember to keep pushing whenever possible. You must get your core item so enemies carry can farm properly, because they will die in one shot if they get careless.
As you can see, I'm always prioritizing on the ADC first. For some reason, I was expecting Aurora to ult first. Yeah, that was one of those brain farm moments. Is it me or whenever we're about to get a Maniac or Savage, we tend to get overly excited and then we mess up? Alright, the enemies are distracted by bottom lane. Let's take this chance and kill the Lord. Since nothing much is happening, let's just split push. The enemies are probably either all together or afraid to go out of the base because of Natalia. Here you can see that I totally ignored the Freya, even though she was quite low, and instead I went directly for the ADC. Remember, that's your priority, killing the carries first. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you don't need to stock up on toilet papers, just take a shower.